Well, hello there, Marisol viewers. I'm your hostess, Divine Empress. Coming to you with a twin flame, soulmate, divine life partner reading. For those of you who are in separation, on the road to reunion, who are in reunion, and that are just checking in, I'm here for all of it. I cleared out any negative energy. Um, Archangel Michael is here with us as always. Um, it's been, you know, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Um, I can definitely say that it has been some major spell work going on. And I know some of you don't believe in that. You don't believe in a lot of things that's happening on a spiritual level. Um, maybe you weren't introduced to it. Um, some of you could be afraid of it and just don't want to, you know, it's, it's what you believe. So if you believe that things are going to happen to you, they are. If you believe that they are not, they won't. But that's a difference between believing in something and believing it won't happen to you. You get what I'm saying? You manifest your reality each day by your thoughts. That's why it's always um, good to think positive thoughts. Stay out of your um, head. Don't overthink too much. Uh, when it comes to matters of the heart, um, tap into those feelings. Allow yourself to feel. Don't stay in a low energy. Heal yourself from low, low vibrations. Low vibrational things, judging and pointing a finger and frowning your nose up at people because they might do things different than you. But um, also, I'm getting the energy where there are spells being done, sexual magic spells, to try to get the feminines and the masculine to like the same sex. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, people do spells on that. Um, also... Sexual magic spells, there are um, spells to make you feel like your masculine won't ever choose you. First of all, you're already in union. Don't allow the darkness to confuse you. You are the light. Bring that light. Shine that light upon yourself when needs to. Um, they're doing spells to make uh, death spells. It's, it's all types of bullshit going on, trust me. Um, and a lot of you have foresight, so you could have been having dreams and visions and premonitions of things. And um, just be mindful and clear out your energy, clear out your space, clean up, wipe shit down, uh, open a window, crack the window, allow some fresh air, fresh energy to flow through your house, flow through your soul, you know. <sighs> Let's see what cards we're going to pull out first. Um, I'm going to pull a couple of these. What's up, y'all? I'm still doing a 444 um, deal. I have one space open for today, and tomorrow is available. What messages we have for my beautiful divine counterparts? Love yourself first, baby. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes, it do, okay? Because when you be feeling yourself, you loving on yourself, you um, treating yourself right, your energy shows that, you know, how you walk, how you talk, how you interact. Are you angry all the time? Do you have resting bitch face? Like, shit like that. Um, sometimes I find myself just smiling. Um, you know, once in a blue, I catch myself having rest in bitch face. It don't mean I'm angry. It just was a natural thing that I developed from where I was from. Now, I kind of find myself smiling for nothing, okay? Loving myself, um, being happy for no reason, just being happy at different TV shows. I was watching the, the Bridgerton experience, the Bridgerton um, show, season two and i really enjoyed it you know that's about twin flames y'all um i just found myself you know smiling and thinking also y'all a fucking wasp flew into my window okay a wasp flew into my window 
I don't know how, but it got in, and um, y'all should see me trying to get it out because I don't want to kill it. Like it's it's a while, so I didn't want to kill it, so I had to open the window all the way up and let it out, and it finally went out. But um, why spring prosperity? Um, it's about productivity. Um, it's time to bring your dreams into fruition. Okay, a, wa a wasp is a good luck sign. Um, it could also be a warning um, that someone maybe someone with ill intent could be trying to come into the picture or it could mean um, good luck that something beautiful is coming your way. It all depends on how you look at it. OK, but love yourself first. Love yourself. Your self-respect self makes you more romantically attractive. Good. Beautiful. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations bring you to the gather. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, it's a lot of different things. Um, you're clearing out karma. You're clearing out past life karma. Karmic debt that you owe. Can y'all see that? Karmic debt and shit that you owe. Um, from past lives, you're balancing out your karma. Um, you're going from collecting bad karma to collecting good karma. And you're about to get rewarded for it. Have faith that and believe in that. If you don't believe in nothing else, believe in that. Believe that you will have the rewards. You will get um, karmic justice. You will get justice from how you're being done. That dark karmic shit, doing wicked ass spells and stuff like that. It's going to backfire. Fire. They want that last hurrah to try to win the masculine over. They want you to believe. Even they even fucking with the cards and shit. Doing spells upon the cards and upon readers. That's why some readers one day be like, oh, you need to love when you're masculine. And then the next day they like, you need to leave that. You need to leave them. It's because they've been doing spells on the cards and all types of shit. So to make you feel like your masculine will not choose you. Um, divine feminists, like this shit is crazy, like the this experience, but it's really a beautiful thing if you really truly look at it from a higher standpoint. You've learned so many lessons, you started loving yourself, and um you're attracting everything that's meant for you, including your soulmate twin flame. Um, your affirmations, your prayers, the things you've been doing, you've been holding strong, you've been you've been keeping faith, you've been pushing through. And girl, you're glowing, baby. You're glowing. It shows your self-respect, the, lo the love that you have for yourself is showing. Who wouldn't want that pure, genuine, unconditional love that you offer? You offer a lot to the world and the world needs you. The world needs you to step up to be that light being. Um, like I said, like it could start with just a smile. You might can smile at somebody and brighten up their whole world, okay? With your beautiful self, inside and out, whether you are male or female, okay? Someone wants to come through. Listen, I told you the wives came through the window. Now, bees represent communication. Now, why stay in the bee family now? You know what I'm saying? You know, they're usually social creatures, but I feel that one separated from the pack. Somebody, y'all been separating from y'all pack. Y'all been doing what y'all supposed to do on your own. You've been focused on you. you. You're not worried about what other people feel about you no more and what you do, what you choose to do. You're finally separating from the pack. If you're meant to be a leader, you got to separate from the pack to find your own way first so that you can lead. How you going to lead them? And y'all all, that's like the blind leading the blind. That's like me. I had to separate first so that I could be able to lead. Listen, just because you had to cut people, places, and things off don't mean it's permanent. It could just mean temporarily until you get where you're supposed to be. I'm going to pull a couple of these. I really like these cards. I really love them. Feeling safe. Look, number four, this month... It's bringing in a lot of opportunities, a lot of blessings, um, a lot of healing, a lot of balance, okay? This also represents the archangelic beings, the four. So you are very protected 
You know, that's why I, I came, I come in the reading. Right before the reading, I um, call on Archangel Michael to clear out any negative energy. One thing I don't play about is energy. After I communicate with somebody, I clear out that energy and replace it with pure light and love and return it back to sender and call my energy back in and replace it all with pure light and love. Yeah, and I know that's a lot, but at the end of the day, it's very worth it. I don't feel drained after doing all these readings and stuff like that. After talking to different people and interacting with different people. <clears throat> it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to have fun. It is safe for you to, to enjoy yourself. It is safe for you to act on your dreams, even if they scare you. It is safe for you to bring into fruition the things that you want. If you have interest in going to school, it is safe for you to go. It is safe for you to do whatever it is you want to do. Okay? Whatever you're being guided to do. Some of you, you're meant to, you're meant to be a tarot reader. Some of you, you're meant to be um, a healer, um, speak, spoken word, a poet. Whatever you're meant to do, if you're meant to be a writer, it's time to write. It's time to, you know what I'm saying? Because you got big opportunities that's about to come your way. Like, things is lining up for you. So, if you start writing now, say, for instance, you sing or rap or something. You start writing now, you got a couple songs done. You fuck around run into the right motherfucker at the right time. Excuse my language. You get what I'm trying to say? Things is lining up for you. You are aligned with your with your um, destiny. You are aligned with your blessings. You are aligned with your twin flame soulmate. You are aligned with your higher self. You are aligned with the universe. You are aligned. You are one with all things. Yeah. Let's see what else. What other messages? Can I have two of these, please, Spirit? What messages? Storms and resistance. Storm resistance will cause storms, which is a tower. You got your hand in too many pots. You're doing too many things at once. Not paying attention or focus on the things that you are meant to focus on. This is a very fruitful time. It's time for you to take um, full advantage of that. Look, four, four. So basically it was four, 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 because the first card that I just had out was a four, actual four. Then it's two, two, then it's 13, four, four. Gang, gang, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Because it will cause a storm. Somebody is causing a tower moment in their life. It's a big tower moment happening. Um, if these masculines or you have been fighting the urge to move forward or make a certain decision, um, let me tell you something. Um, if you don't move, the spirit gonna move for you. They're giving you a warning. They're giving you a warning. It's time to shine. Look, if you look at this, that's funny. These cards came out together. They got the sun, the moon, the stars, and it's a storm cloud coming, approaching. Okay. But you can weather any storm. Can you stay in the rain? You can weather any storm. You can, you can do this. You got this, baby. You're worthy. You're worthy. And you can do this. You are strong. You are not. Listen, you are, you were built for this shit. You know what I'm saying? And after the storm, what comes? The rainbow. So let me see what's after that. Resisting creativity. Yeah, allow your creativity to to shine and we have secrets that's being revealed creative secrets hidden secrets don't tell everybody your desires don't tell everybody um your next move keep your next move private um if you are a writer and stuff like that and you got like songs about to come out don't tell nobody just do it don't don't tell them just show it show who you are and you have a sister circle or a brother circle or just your soul tribe starting to come in your life. You're starting to meet them one by one, you know, and they are like your muse. They inspire you. You have people around that's very talented that inspire you or will be coming into your life. Okay. Yeah, there's some truth about your desires. Your desires are definitely coming into fruition. They will be, they will be revealed to you. You will see that you will get more than what you even thought. More than what you asked for. So don't feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed of your truth. Living your full truth. Living your full purpose. Show who you truly are. Okay. Regardless who 
who feels a way about it. You got some a big some rings. Somebody like a lot of rings, but um I feel like somebody wants to come back and give you a ring. And that could cause a tower. Don't resist it. Um, because you know you really want it. Excuse me. I was gonna pull some of these, but no. Shocked. You got me fucked up. So a secret is gonna come out. You know, I ain't trying I'm not digging into the karmic energy. I'm not going to be messy um, when it comes down to this twin flame journey. Um, there's a lot of positive things that's coming from this journey, regardless of what the circumstances may seem like right now. You learn to love yourself. You learn to stand up for yourself, treat yourself with the same respect and love and loyalty that you treated everybody else with. Now, you loyal to everybody else. It's time for you to be loyal to yourself. Let me say that again for the people in the back. You so loyal to everybody else. I'm talking about riding, doing whatever, um, picking people up, taking kids, taking, taking them there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Giving people money. Always willing to jump for somebody else. But when it comes to you, you wasn't being loyal to yourself. And that's why you was running into the shitty and shitty people that gave you the short end of the stick. You like, damn, I do anything. I give you the shirt off my back. But I can't even get a call in return when I'm going through something. You can't even get when you need help. No, it's crickets. Cricket. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's because. You wasn't loving yourself correctly. You wasn't loyal to yourself. And if you ain't loyal to you, why did why anybody else gonna be loyal to you? Okay. Let's keep going. You ain't loyal to you. How you expect somebody else to be loyal to you? Don't resist. Resistance will cause storm. Somebody, um, it's definitely I'm getting energy of interference, somebody trying to interfere with this reconciliation. But it's nothing they can do. It's time to forgive your parents. It's time to heal the deep-rooted issues, the childhood issues. Because it will affect you and your relationship. If you're hating your family or just not forgiving them. See, the thing is, you have to forgive. It's not for them. It's for you. The forgiveness frees you from the pain, the burden, and the weight of the past. Forgive yourself because there's somebody, yeah, somebody from your past is returning so that you could forgive them. Um, your soulmate is returning um, to heal this. This person feels like you're their family. This person resisted this for a long time and now the storm had came to um, clear out anything that's not sturdy. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to free up. Your mind, I'm getting, your mind is about to become clear and free after this so that you can, your creative juices can flow and you can flourish. Ooh, you have a beautiful soul and you have a beautiful soul trap that's trying to come in. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. Let's see what we have, Spirit. Uh oh. Okay. We have the sun. Okay. After the rain, what I say? Here comes the rainbow and the sunshine. That rainbow healing. That happiness. That freedom. Freedom. Freedom happiness joy love if you had any questions it's a yes spirit is saying listen you may have been through a storm you it, it may have been a tough as journey like i said some days were just like oh lord please some days you may even wanted to give up some days you probably did give up and you like you know what fuck this shit okay but then the uh, the storm ends and a new day arrives and it's very sunny and beautiful. And you just wake up like, 
feeling different, feeling good. So now today, you're not no longer saying fuck this shit. You're like, I'm grateful for this. Gratitude gets you far, baby. Stop resisting your happiness. Stop resisting your, your true calling. Stop resisting where you're supposed to truly be. You're supposed to be somewhere right now. Where is that? Because for each of us, it's different. For some of you, you need to be healing. For some of you, you need to be reconcil reconciling with somebody. For some of you, you need to be manifesting more. You need to be doing more affirmation. For some of you, you just resisting all this shit. You're like, I ain't doing none of that shit. And the storm is coming. For some of you, you are already past the storm and now you're reaching the sunshine. It's time for you to bring in your happiness. Yeah, it's time for you to move forward in a beautiful, solid way. It's some major things happening here for you. It's some major things happening here for you. You calling in somebody beautiful. You calling in somebody balanced. You had to go through the storm so you can get balance. You had to go through the storm so you can find your happiness. You had to go through the storm and be loved incorrectly so that you can love your own self correctly. Because if you can't love yourself correctly, how are you going to love somebody else correctly? I was about to say, can I get an amen in here? Four of Cups. Somebody was not interested in this relationship. Somebody was not interested in moving forward. Somebody was not interested because I feel like they was dealing with all types of tox toxic energy. Um, this person needed to heal themselves. Them, this person needed to heal um, from past love, um, from partying too much. This person was caught up in lower energy. And not looking at the rainbow that's behind them, but looking at uh, whatever happened that did not work out. Not looking at this this offer from spirit saying, hello, my dear, wake up. Your blessings are here. Or do you want them? Do you want these blessings? Do you want this reconciliation? Do you want to heal? Do you want this happiness? Do you want this balance forward, fast forward movement? Um, it's time for you to spruce things up. So some of you have been through some major hurt, some major pain, ten of swords. You went, you've been through major betrayals, but you're healing from it. You're healing, baby. You're healing from that. You no longer have to go through that. That's coming to an end. What else we got? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wants to invest in you and watch this grow. Okay? Nine of Wands. Give this another shot. But they're a little guarded still because they didn't been through many storms. But let's, let's look at these. King of Cups and Judgment. Somebody is a fucking waking to their love. Somebody is ready to sail towards you, cross the ocean for you, come and bring you the moon. Somebody astral travels to you all the time. Somebody is very uh, good at astral traveling. Somebody is feeling free. Somebody is going through a major soul awakening. They're going through awakening on a soul level. This person here is in love. This person is in love with their self. This person is learning how to manifest. Ooh. When, they, when I get the channel in, sometimes I'll be talking and thinking too faster than my mouth can move. But somebody is learning how to how to meditate. This person is very good at like um, this person is more spiritual than you know. OK, this person is way more spiritual than, you know, this King of Cups or also the sun. This any sign is here. Um, this person, this King of Cups view you as their true happiness. And now that they are awakened to who they are. They truly are. They're starting to awaken to who you are. They have resisted this for so long. And I feel like now things is finally moving forward. They want to give this another shot. They want to persevere. They want to keep keep pushing on forward. They may be a little guarded still. But I feel like they still coming. Um, yeah, because this person was in a dark place. Two of swords, five of swords, being selfish. They like... This, somebody said, this shit gonna happen when pigs fly. Well, pigs are flying. This shit happening. Let's see. This person wasn't interested in the past and now they realize. I feel like this person is kind of was kind of kicking themselves for 
not seeing who you truly was or truly are. But this person wants to um, nurture this and watch it grow, wants to invest in this now. Yeah, this person was definitely in a dark place. This person could have been the one who betrayed you. Somebody who betrayed you is coming back. They was no longer, you and you may not be interested this time. A lot of divine feminists is just not interested. But um, I'm here to let you know, baby, I know what it feels like to be hurt. And then, you know, you you were hurt on a deep soul level. You were hurt. But you also have to practice forgiveness because this is your family. This is what you've been waiting for. You didn't, you didn't came all the way this far for this. And you about to give it up. You going to walk away from it? Or you just going to let go of the hurt from it and allow this person to come in brand new. This man or woman knows that they need to come in different. Not just acting different. Not coming in, coming in for a couple weeks and a month or so and acting different. No. This is somebody who has changed their soul, who has gone through a deep soul transformation. And this person is now wanting to Feel and see what you see. Wanting to know what you know. You inspire this person. This person ready to invest now. And you may not even be interested. You may be like, look, I, you hurt me too fucking bad. From not communicating and stuff, that shit fucking hurt. Just cutting off communication. But you got to understand from a higher standpoint, this person was dealing with wicked witches of the West that was doing spells. We were all under attack. But we gang gang. This shit, listen, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You're safe and you protect it. You have a whole spirit team, a whole spirit gang that has your back that's protecting you, okay? So now it's time for you to protect your happiness. Move towards your happiness. Move towards what, what feels right. Because I feel like right now that the shit is finally here, you're no longer interested. And it's time for you to get very interested, my dear. It's time for you to get your blessings. Get get your blessings. Nobody else deserves your man or woman and no and they nobody else deserve you more than y'all deserve each other y'all healed each other learn from each other y'all a blessing to each other forgive each other and move forward to this new beginning because spirit is offering you guys both a new beginning i feel like this person wants to come invest in you and give you a ring give you some type of investment something that you could touch feel whole and that's going to grow that's going to prosper look i can't make this shit up i ain't making it up i'm just reading it look seven of pentacles he wants to offer you something so you can watch it grow this reminds me of what i always said i said i want to grow fruit trees and stuff like that for our kids and stuff you know what i'm saying this is that type of investment that should just the fruit trees alone behind your house will bring in money for the kids. I'm talking about that long-term money. I'm talking about multiple streams. I'm talking about big blessings, just just loving on each other. Um, Y'all both, I feel like he wants to nurture this. He wants to watch it grow. He wants to invest in you. He feels like it would be a wise investment to, to be with you, and he's ready to take action towards it. This person's third eye is wide the fuck open. I can't make this shit up. Ace of one and a judgment. This person's third eye is wide open. He's very much in love. He's not speaking at the moment, but he views you as his sunshine. You could be dealing with the Leos, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Every, every, everything is out here. Okay. And this person wants to give this another shot, give you a fair chance. Cause I feel like he didn't give you a fair chance before he was resisting this. He was resisting his feelings. And each time it created a bigger storm within him. This person is ready to face his own reality. This person wants something stable and solid, okay? Yeah, and he's in deep regret about the way he treated you. This person could be in a dark space right now because after going through this awakening and dealing with um, dealing with his feelings now, now he has to feel his feelings. He has to feel what it feels like to know that somebody is in love with you coming from a pure space but he had to figure that out for himself because he didn't know if you was just being messy and trying to break up his relationship and being a psycho stalker <laughs> got you thinking you going crazy whole time he's really deeply in love with you but been fighting his feelings he's in deep regret about it and things are going to change for the better for you you have to allow it in now look queen of pentacles okay the nurturer 